Well, welcome to the 2022-2023 college basketball season, everybody. We kick off on Monday. Less than, you know, less than 24 hours away from the kickoff of the season. Once again, we get into the madness, the sadness, and the wacky world of college basketball once again. Definitely going to be, you know, watching as much college basketball as I do, you know, for the last couple seasons now. Because I genuinely think college basketball is more entertaining than the NBA now for some reason. But it is what it is there. Basically, the storylines coming into the season are plenty. There are plenty of storylines, you know. And we got to start with, you know, we got we to start with Gonzaga. Let's start with Gonzaga. You know, there's rumblings that they're going to the Big 12. You know, some rumor has circulated, and everybody's just eating it up. I personally, you know, would say that they should do that. You know, it doesn't, it benefits them, but it also doesn't. You know, if they do decide to go to the Big 12, that'd be, that'd be good. That'd be good for college basketball. It'd be really good, you know. There's also, you know, Gonzaga being the team that's going to take on Michigan State on the aircraft carrier for the only marquee matchup of the week. I know there's also Tennessee-Colorado, but who cares about that game? It's on a Sunday, I think. This is a Friday night Veterans Day matchup that should be fun, you know. Again, Izzo, you know, is something else throughout the season. You know, Tommy is, you know, is something else. And Gonzaga... Is this is this the year? We've been asking this question for years now, and years and years and years and years. You know, Drew Timmy's back. A lot of other guys are back. This is finally the time, right? Is it? We'll find out. And before you know, it really kicks. It really gets going with Feast Week, Champions Classic, and everything like that. Who's going to impress the most? Who's going to be the upstart? Again, we'll figure it out as time goes along. Bill Self, I know he's not going to be, you know, in in suit for the first four games. He'll miss the Champions Classic, and I believe Kansas also has Remy Martin now. So that 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 should be something. Should be something again. The national champions, they they they, they bring they bring back some guys. You know, I don't. I, I think Jalen Wilson's back, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no Coach K anymore, which is weird. So John Shayer is going to be the guy who's going to lead Duke. And I do know that Duke is ready, you know, Duke is ready to rumble in 2022, you know, going into 2023. They, they, got, they, got, they, got, they, got, something, they got something good cooking out there, you know, at Duke. North Carolina, we wonder, they are ranked number one. Can they finish the job? You know, they didn't do it last year, but can they finish it this year? You know, Pete Nance replaces Brady Manick. Most of the guys from North Carolina's team last year are back as well. You know, that's going to be something to keep an eye on. Jim Beheim, is his, is this his last dance? That's a big question coming in the season. Is this his final season at the helm? Houston's also back. Oh, boy, you you know, you thought last year, you know, with Houston not even having Tremont Mark and Marcus Sasser there, you know, they, that they were cooking something good. Oh, boy, this year, them two are back. And we all know Houston has just been on a tear these past couple seasons. And, you know, I, I'm really high on them, really high on them, especially with Mark and Sasser coming back. Kentucky, Oscar Sheboy's back, you know. National Player of the Year. He's back with John Calipari and Kentucky again. Looking like, you know, something good. Looking like something interesting. There's also some other teams I want you to watch out for. I know Arkansas is like ranked in the top 10, but I don't really care about Arkansas. There's Creighton. Creighton's a big one that you got to watch out for. It looks like Creighton is going to be battling Villanova in the Big East this year. There's also Baylor and Texas, you know. Beard's got something cooking with Texas. I know they landed like the number 10 recruit the other day. Baylor, again, they've 
just been a juggernaut the past few years, been able to go toe-to-toe with Kansas a lot more than other teams have been. And then UCLA out west, got to watch out for them. I know, I know there's teams like Arizona out west that can do some damage as well, but UCLA looks like the team that can do it out west. It's going to be one hell of a season, let me tell you. Um, I really don't have any perceptions right now because, again, it's the first week of the season. And there's not a lot to go off of because, you know, there's just not a lot of key matchups. Again, the first week of the year is, you know, it's the midterm year. So that's why things are a little bit weird. Like, why is, why is the season starting on Monday of all things? And there's just not many marquee matchups at all to talk about. So next week. I'm sure to talk more because, again, there's more big-time matchups. But, again, if you need something to do on Veterans Day, it's going to be Gonzaga and Michigan State aboard an aircraft carrier, which is absolutely hilarious. And it's always going to be interesting to see what ESPN does. Because, again, oh, and also Jim Nance, he's stepping down, you know, from being the guy calling – you know, the national championship and stuff like that, which I thank God. Because, I mean, man's, I, I, don't get me wrong, I love Nance, don't get me wrong. But he barely does college basketball anymore. Like, he's so focused on, you know, golf and the NFL that, like, like why are you here during those last couple weeks of March? Like, that, that last weekend of February and those first you know, few weekends of March, the regular season and then the tournament, like, why are you even here? It'll just... I'm so glad they let I and Eagle do it. You know, love, love the bird, love the bird. So, CBS and Turner are in good hands. You know, with the bird calling the tournament. You know, like, you know, all the way through. So, it's it's gonna be interesting to see how this all goes down because it all ends in Houston. By the way, it all ends in Houston in April. So, cannot wait to get it going. Gonna be watching that Gonzaga, Michigan State game on Friday. I'll pair that up with some Pac-12 at the dark. Pair that up with some NBA. I know NBA the regular season in November. Yeah, we'll pair that up. It's gonna be some good times. Let me tell you. So until next Sunday, Big Boy Sports is signing out, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>